this is what I live for. I'm going to miss this so much when I graduate. Nothing will ever compare to Howard University and to this amazing experience that I've had thus far. I have not <laughs> vlogged a week in my life in what feels like forever, so here we are, another week in my life. Classes end in six weeks. I graduate in eight weeks. And if there's one thing that I know I'm gonna wish that I had more of, it's vlogs and clips and just physical evidence that this life existed for me at some point. So I need to get back onto this vlogging grind and lifestyle that I was trying to do a couple months back. So here we are, we're picking it back up. It's Monday evening, I had no classes today. So very chill day, I just edited, posted my Puerto Rico vlog. Go check it out. Turned out really cute. I had a great spring break, but now we're here getting back into the swing of things. Made us dinner. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I hope you like it. It's Me too. pineapple barbecue pizza from HelloFresh. Okay. And honestly, I just have an abundance of it, so I want you to enjoy. It looks really enjoy. good. Yay. They are not attuned to our postgrad plans yet, and they're not attuned to it yet. Oh, really? Nope. I've been documenting mm -hmm. the entire process, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do a whole like, thing sneak peek we're doing it together yes whatever we are doing we'll be living together again we didn't know if or when we were ever gonna live together again no we are but now we're doing it we're really doing jump. this yeah like we're doing this okay enough oh well, yeah i know i know <laughs> we're gonna spill the beans i know enough of me being annoying i know it's probably like damn just freaking tell us already but you'll see soon it'll be worth the wait <laughs> oh my god. We finished eating dinner. Now it is time to go to night one of LOQ week. So every spring semester, our organization, Ladies of the Quad Social Club or LOQ, we do one week of events. So Monday through Sunday, there's something every single night or on the weekends, I think it's during the day. But seven opportunities for sisters to come out and hang out with one another and just to have, you know, campus involvement and whatnot. It's also the last week that I will be an active member since I'm graduating and you know all that. So I just really want to take it all in and enjoy the time with my sisters. So gonna head out to that. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I wanna say I love the Q and I love my sisters. How about that? Aww. 37 week QQ madness. So fudge. So fudge. Yeah. It's QQ what? season. It's QQ season all year round. So you know the girls are gonna be out. Yes, we're we out. Are. <laughs> we have a very long day ahead of us. Every single time Tuesday rolls around, I try my hardest to wake up with good intentions to not let it overwhelm me with how much I have to do. But then when it comes to this time where like I have to leave for class and I'm packing my bag and I'm realizing, oh my god, I'm literally not gonna be home until eight o'clock tonight. It just it, it honestly kind of upsets me. So we have a long day ahead of us trying to be positive, trying to not think too deeply about what it every Tuesday entails, but it's fine. Oh my God. Oh, you're kidding me. My class just got canceled. My class, that is literally the cause of this uh, hating Tuesdays. It literally got canceled. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so happy. Okay, backtrack, backtrack. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Here is me doing a little happy dance. <laughs> Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm on campus, I'm sitting outside Founders. I'm about to go in to start my archival research. So one of my projects for one of my classes, we have to go in and then study a poet that we're gonna like do extensive research on. And part of it is getting to go into the archives and getting like, the birth certificates, the original poems, these like very hard to get documents that Howard University has access to. So I'm really excited to go in and start figuring it out. That is kind of the main task of this week is to do all of my archival research, get it over with, and then start the assignment next week. Also, I don't vlog that much in public and very rarely am I doing it alone. So I'm like a little uncomfortable, but it's fine. I wanna have all this content for later use. So yes, we're about to go into Founders and start this very cool archive project. I'm home and done with classes for the day, which makes me the happiest girl in the world because the sun is still up. I feel like I have a second boost of energy. I feel like I can go do something else now if I wanted. Like I could go for a walk 
I don't want to, but like I could if I wanted. <laughs> so I'm out on my deck right now. I'm gonna write some poetry because I'm feeling super inspired. I have like four different ideas that I really wanna get down and just like expand on or at least just get the idea on paper so I can remember to talk about it later. Today is the Aries new moon and it's also the start of the spring equinox. So in the spiritual realm, this is when the new year really begins. So this is a great time to start new creative projects, to set intentions, manifestations, all those types of things. That sentence did not accurately and correctly come out of my mouth. It's a good time to start new things is what I'm trying to tell you. Also want to tell you working in the archives was so insanely cool. I was touching documents from like the 1830s. That is insane. I was touching documents and I was reading diaries from women who were around before anyone that I even know was like thought about. That is crazy to me. It was so cool. Everything was so delicate and I just, oh my God, I had so much weird feelings in there, like realizing I was touching things from that long ago. It was, it was so insane. It's also really cool to just realize and take advantage of all the awesome things that Howard University does have to offer. Like Founders Library is stacked with amazing resources and just all these really cool things that I have not gotten to use or tap into since I've been a student here just because you know, my major's TV and film. I don't really ever have to go to the library for anything. So it was cool to have that experience and to like play in the archives. And I'm excited to go back on Thursday and do more research and potentially go back in the coming weeks to do more. But for now, done talking about school, done with that. I'm gonna get to writing and then we're gonna do some more like spiritual stuff tonight and just setting my intentions for this new era. I am tired, so I'm gonna start to get ready for bed. I've been waking up at 7 a.m. this last week. That's only Tuesday. <laughs> it's only Tuesday. But I did do this last week on like Monday, Tuesday. But then I went out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I couldn't wake up at 7 a.m. But you get the point. I've been waking up pretty early, so I've been going to sleep really early around 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna take a shower and just like wash off the day, wash off my makeup, and I'm gonna do some new moon rituals. Nothing too crazy. I'm probably just gonna light some incense, journal, read my book, and just relax. Something that I really wanna welcome into my life for this new spiritual new year and just for the springtime in general is just relaxation, abundance, letting go. How to take a deep breath because I have a problem with letting go. I have control issues. I'm identifying this within myself. I have a really hard time giving up control when it comes to the things that I want, the things that I desire, the things that I like. I just so deeply always have such a tight grasp on things and I really want to learn how to just let things be, how to detach how to let it be up in the universe because I trust that it's gonna come to me anyway. So that is really what I wanna welcome into my life for this new season. My way of doing that is gonna be journaling and reading and taking a calm, quiet night, not being on my phone, not worrying about all the 150 other things that could be happening or you know, thinking of things I could be doing to get to this end goal because at the end of the day, I do believe what is meant for me will not pass me. So that is how I'm gonna spend the rest of my life the rest of my night, I meant to say night, but life, okay. Rest of my life, night, okay. Either way, if I can spend the rest of my life like that, it'd be good anyway. So I'm gonna take a shower, do my little night routine and go to sleep. I will talk to you tomorrow. Day in the life, <clears throat> day in the life of your favorite college senior. Day in the life of your favorite college senior. Day in the life of your favorite college senior. Last time I'm doing this. At the end of this, I went home and changed into something more comfortable. I went on my deck and wrote some Okay, seriously last time, or I'm scrapping this and I will do it later. Day in the life of your favorite college senior. And then I went to sleep and that was all for the day. Oh, thank you. Finally, finally we finished. Behind the scenes of me trying to make these day in the life TikToks, it always takes me at least like three tries, but never that long. It literally took me five minutes just to do that one thing. There you go. You got some behind the scenes of the TikTok content. Now I'm all ready for the day and I have no classes on Wednesday, but I still do like to go to campus just to feel like I'm still somewhat of a student. And when I have nothing else to do, it's like, why not? Let's just go. 
So what's going on over here? The haircutting. Walk me there. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. I don't want to roll. We got a good bro right here, Joseph. What's up, y'all? And I'm just giving free cuts in the yard to the uh, right. less fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm his regular customer. <laughs> this, this, time, this time I'm getting a cup for free. Hey vlog. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've been featured since freshman year. I know it's been a minute. For so long. Happy to be back. I love this channel. My favorite. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Are you having a good day? A great day. It's always a beautiful time at Howard during the spring. It is. <laughs> Shout out to my vlog. Yeah, I got pies. Very much. <laughs> well, oh, you're actually lying. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was for TikTok. See, I've been talking about this whole video, how I'm really, really? on my TikTok grind. Mm. See, you even think that I'm TikToking? Yeah, right now. I'm like, nope, just regular Maggie. vlogging. We are walking to Zara H and M, just down to like Bad Chinatown girls. area because there's a darty tomorrow, and, and we. Uh, unfortunately, we feel like we have nothing to wear. <laughs> unfortunately, our entire time... closet is packed and we still yeah. don't like anything we have. Nope, so. so we're gonna go buy something new. Also, my arm's getting really tired, but I wanna say like three more things. Mm -hmm. I feel like we don't show, I don't show it that much, but we walk around a lot. Yeah, we do. We do a lot all the time. Like right now, mm -hmm. we're going on a 40 minute walk and it's gonna feel like 15. 20, yeah. if that. We do this walk like every day back and forth with the weight on our back like, yeah we have our backpack uh, we should have dropped our stuff at home but we didn't no s <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting all right she's not hey. I love springtime at Howard University and what you saw today was only a little snippet of what campus looks like every single day when it's warm outside. Specifically right now it's campaign season so that's what all those booths were but there were also orgs out there doing the pie throwing like you saw, haircuts, just everyone out having a great time and I like this is what I live for. I'm going to miss this so much when I graduate. It's also darty season, darty day parties. Like, we start partying at 2 p.m. This is about to be a really fun weekend. And just fun the rest of the semester because the weather's going to be so great. But we went shopping. First thing I got from H&M, just this little, like, knit see-through shirt. That's it. Literally just knit, long sleeve shirt. I'm going to wear a bra under it. From Zara, I got these purple parachute pants. And then, in my mind, I was like, wear this, this bodysuit. And I can wear a Skims bra underneath it that would just like blend perfectly and seamlessly. I also got this, which this is a little appropriate. This is definitely giving like a night out on the town, but we have this like completely see-through romper. And again, I would wear a bra. I wouldn't just wear nothing. And then lastly, I just got this Sephora collection lip gloss and it has sparkles in it. And I think it's going to be really cute. So I'm like, maybe I'm in my lip gloss era. Like, can you see it? Uh, I did splurge today. Did I need any of this? Not really. Very happy. Today has been such a fun, great, beautiful day. I love being a Howard University student. You know, as I go into the next chapter, nothing will ever compare to Howard University and to this amazing experience that I've had thus far. And I'm getting sappy. I need to stop talking and yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed now because it's a little late and we have to get up bright and early to do more archival research and then go get ready for the party. Woo! I'm so excited. Yay! <laughs> give me a second. Give me a minute. Talking, I'm off the bench like radio. I am like 90% done. We have to do a couple more things, but we're basically there. We are making impeccable timing. I'm all ready with 10 minutes to spare before I was supposed to be ready. Yeah! I'm so excited. I did have some responsibilities today. So I did go up to the yard and I did my archive research. So I had a whole morning before I got ready to do this, but just didn't feel like pulling out the camera. 
But now we're gonna because it's about to be a fun time and I'm just feeling so colorful and good and happy and excited and I don't know maybe we'll get into more stuff later tonight because it's also Thirsty Thursday. That's like the name of the parties that go on Thursday night. So who knows this I'm leaving right now in my apartment at three o'clock and I literally might not get back until like 3 a.m. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Well, yesterday was really fun. Kind of don't have a voice. I definitely was yelling a lot yesterday. <laughs> Just like there were so many people there and I think especially being a senior, I just, I, I'm more carefree now than I've ever been before, especially in like a college setting. I think back, you know, freshman, sophomore, even junior year, there still is some like reservations every now and then. Like as a senior, I'm like, okay, like let's go have a good time. I really don't care. I just want to be friends with everyone, be cool with everyone and be myself and not care. And I think if you're in college or just anyone who's partied before, I think you know being in an environment like that can be super like anxiety inducing and nerve wracking because you're like, oh my God, am I acting this way? Am I not? Or maybe I just have a little bit of social anxiety and that's why I used to be like that. I don't know. I hope someone out here is, rem is relating though. I was gonna say reminiscing, but that wasn't the right word. But relating, I can just say as a senior, I definitely feel a lot more carefree. I feel a lot more confident in myself. I feel a lot more just able to like know myself head to toe to be like, you know, it's cool. This is me and let's do it. Like, you know, just having a good time at all times, which I've been loving. Now me and Delaney are gonna go on a walk. We do this every time after a night out, basically. It's raining outside right now, so this isn't gonna be like, a long walk but we do need to go get some fresh air also if you're curious i just don't have schoolwork right now i feel like what has been happening is i'll have a week of so many assignments and essays and xyz and then i'll have like two to three weeks of nothing so that is why i'm able to go out and do this i don't have classes on fridays like this is very much a senior life that i am living right now like i, I, I don't really do much but i do do stuff at the same time it's just very um what's the word it's spread out i don't vlog the weeks that i have a lot of homework just because it doesn't feel like necessary yeah very fun not sure if we're going out tonight it is raining like i said and it's supposed to rain for the rest of the night so this might be a indoor friday but we'll see very fun let's go on this walk let's get some fresh air let's come back to life <laughs> And that is it for this week. I can confidently say nothing will ever compare to Howard University. Thanks for coming along on this week in my life and I'm really excited to continue vlogging the rest of my semester. I will see you somewhere else over on the internet, TikTok, Instagram, all of the above. See you really soon.